When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Previously on Sailing Catalpa. So, kids, tell us about your day. What did you do today? So, today we so, left. So, today we left Fitzroy and we we got in the boat and pulled the anchor up and went sailing. To Mustang Island. <laughs> <laughs> oh, must head. Must head. So today we left Fitzroy Reef and we pulled up the anchor and headed to Masthead with some friends we met a while back. This is Santa Moore that we met in Brisbane. I caught three fish. Here I go catching my big fish. Oh no, nah, they're just little bait. Oh, maybe this one's not nah, just a little one. Keep winding. One. They were. They were all crazy. Mackerel. No, they were oh, crap. all crap. Sorry, they were all bonitas. And no, they were mackerel. Like this, the bonitas. Thank goodness, <laughs> because otherwise he was on a mission to go find that one that got away. I was thinking about it. <laughs> I was thinking just on sunset. <laughs> yeah. He's coming in quick, so hopefully he's not too big. This one. <laughs> See you're working that rod nicely, honey. Listen to the poor thing. It's been outside. <laughs> I've got to make a rack inside. Poor Shimano takes us on with this new sponsorship. <laughs> some new TLD 25. Anyone want to sponsor this man with some new rods? Reels? Hey, Gaff. He's yeah. got skills. Oh, it's big. Can I just put it into gear, Bella? What's the big one? How about the yellow fin tuna? Hold on. Hold on, Belle. Neutral. The Spanish. Spanish oh. mackerel? Yes! Okay. That'll do. That'll do. Whoa! Look at the size of that beauty. Ah! Whoa, it's so cool. Whoa. It's going to lose its colour quick. Can you give me, I've only just got that gaffing, can you give me the um, towel? Success! <laughs> one got away but we got one. This is a better size one to eat anyway. It's a skinny one. Yes! Fish! Actually not a... Um... So you don't know what that is? <laughs> <laughs> We were just coming in to Masthead around there. Dad caught a silver, a grey uh, mackerel. So here's Lee filleting up our fish that he just caught, and we've looked it up in our on our book on our chart, and it's a grey mackerel. He's just complaining about his workbench here. He needs a filleting station apparently. So his next project is a chopping, what do you call it? A fish filleting bench. So he's, that's what he's going to build over here somewhere. You got anything to say, honey? Blunt knife. <laughs> Not negative. I just, we just, I thought I was filming. We were rambling on about stuff, but I <laughs> didn't press the button. So he's not going to talk now because he just talked. But this is a grey mackerel. It is a very meaty. And it says it's delicious, so we're a bit excited about having that. And we've run out of fish, so this is perfect timing. Like that. It's going to be real good eating. And this is the fish I caught. <laughs> it's massive. It's what is that, Belle? What is it? It is... 
It's, it looks a little stiff. <laughs> and its eye got poked out. <laughs> it's it a bonito. And now we have anchored and it's pretty nice and calm with a beautiful sunset about to appear. So what did you do while we were sailing today? So I did some sleeping and some reading and a bit more sleeping and some eating. And I was fishing and sleeping and eating. Here we are at Mast Head Island. This is Mast Head Island as you can see. This is joined with the Capricorn Bunker Group in Queensland, Australia. Here we have, you can see at low tide, the reef comes up around the island and at high tide, it covers it up and you can go ashore really easy. But now, this is the tricky part. You've got to put your shoes on and you've got to go across the coral if you want to go ashore and then you go there and then you're there and then you're there. What's over there? There's absolutely nothing except this beautiful island and the beautiful trees and maybe some birds. And pristine clear waters. And clear waters. Lee's up here fishing, I was downstairs making some bread and I could hear this thump 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 thump. <laughs> Don't know what he has, but it sounds decent. Spangled Emperors are a prize fish oh, in these waters up wow. here. They're either red throat, spangled, but they're emperor. Beautiful eating fish. That's Great awesome. table fish. They're so yummy. We love our spangled empress. Cool. <laughs> he's the biggest your one, Tom. No, he's not. Actually, Mine I was think way he's bigger. a little bit bigger. The next morning on high tide, we jumped in the dinghy and headed ashore to explore the island. We walked the island. It wasn't very big. It took us about an hour. So we're heading off from Mars Head Island today. Plan was to go to Northwest Island and keep island hopping, but there's a bit of a blow coming through. So we thought it would be smart to head towards um, Keppel Island, or I think we're gonna go to Hemiki Island today. I'm bummed because it's a beautiful day and I wanted to go onto the island, but it's what happens when you live on a boat. You gotta move when you gotta move. At least there's good winds for sailing today, so we should get there relatively quickly. I think it's about 32 nautical miles away, so that's not too far. So just another quick little note on the AIS, as you can see here we've got a ship there to my south and another one up there to the north and if you look out here, it's still a fair way off but it's just so good just to know that they're not going to creep up on you and there's another one out here to the north. Yeah, so awesome. I reckon it's a must for any sailor. Bring up their information, who they are, what their headings are, distance, bearing, all the rest of it. Awesome. Straight ahead to the west, 
coming coming up is Hemaki Island. Zoom in there. Not far off now. The wind's dropped out a little bit. We had about 15 to 20. It's down to about 10 to 15 now. Bearing and Tars is going to take a bearing of this ship behind us. And using this little hand bearing compass we've got. So we'll see how he goes. Yeah. And I'll cross check it on the AIS and see if he's close. One twenty. Yeah, and my turn. No, 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 my turn. My so hold on. We're just gonna look on here. We're gonna click on this ship here, and we'll see. Oh, he's very close. What has Taz said? One twenty. One twenty-two. The bearing is one nineteen. I got it close. So Bella said twenty-two. So Taz is one degree out. Okay, Bella, your one next. You're gonna take a bearing of that one out there. It's a little bit further away. We'll see how close Bella gets. There it is. Now I'll come back to the AIS. There's the ship out there to our north. 350. Oh Bella, you're close, but not as close as Taj. Oh, Taj was one degree out. So we're just coming into Hamiki Island. We left Masthead Island this morning. We had a pretty good sail until we got pretty close to land and then the wind dropped out. So we'll just turn the motor on to come in. Any words, Captain? Very tired. Oh, you lost your... You didn't, we didn't check for your sunnies. Got no sunglasses that went overboard. Well, he dropped them in yesterday and didn't jump in after them like a goose. And we were going to have a dive today and see if we could find them, but we... I totally forgot. And we left. So we're just coming into the anchorage and the kids have spotted some caves over here. There's one here. And we passed yeah, one that's uh, back there. I think we'll have to go exploring. Hi guys. Hi, uh, what do you reckon mama there? So join us next time as we explore Hemiki Island's caves and mum spots a cray in the rocks. Thanks heaps for watching. So that was episode 32. Thanks so much for watching. Um, we're in the process at the moment just planning our route up to Indonesia. So we've decided uh, we're going to leave Early Beach, go up to um, Townsville. Uh, probably mostly stock up there, head towards Cairns and then Thursday Islands. From there we're going to go up to Indonesia. So uh, we haven't, well, we don't really know a lot of what we're supposed to do before we leave. So uh, a lot of what we're doing the last couple of days is a bit of research into what we need and while we have internet. And yeah, so if anyone's got any advice for us, um, anything that we should know, um, just let us know in the comments below. We love reading your comments um, when they're positive. And so if you've got yeah any advice that we need or you think we should do before we go, um, yeah, let us know because we, we love to hear your feedback and, and what you've got to say. And it's helpful because we've got no idea. We've never left Australia in our boat, so um, yeah. Cool. Comment below. Peace. Okay. I'm Taj. And I'm Bella from Sailing Catalpa. Bing bang boom. Bang. Boom. Do you got nothing else ah! to say? <laughs>